welcome friends to my channel electric world continuing engineering today i am going to discuss about cable sizing calculation cable sizing calculation for uh, motor feeders basically there are two types of motor feeders one is uh, small rating motors which are uh, mcb or mccb operated that is small lead case circuit breaker operated feeders and another one is uh, high rating motor feeders these feeders are breaker operated that means air circuit breaker or vacuum circuit breaker operated feeders so there are three criteria for cable sizing calculation number one is continuous current capability continuous current capacity number two voltage drop criteria and number three is short circuit current rating first two criteria are applicable for these small rating motors that means mccb operated motor feeders and uh, and uh, number three so that is short circuit rating this uh, criteria is, is applicable only for breaker operated feeders so first two criteria shall be met shall be fulfilled for mccb operated motor feeders and all three criteria shall be fulfilled for breaker operated feeders so continuous current rating continuous current rating you all know how to calculate it that is motor kilowatt rating divided by root 3 into voltage level whether it is um, uh, 400 volt or 480 volt or 6.6 .6 kb or 11 kb this voltage level into power factor into motor efficiency so now we can get the continuous current rating and after that we need to uh, derate this uh, continuous current rating by multiplying by derating factors this derating factor is for temperature correction factor uh, depth of cable laying and uh, cable laying configuration that means uh, whether it is a single code cable or multi uh, multi-layer or single layer configuration so the overall uh, overall derating factor is calculated multiplying by all these factors so now we can get the derated value of this motor feeder equals to calculated current rating calculated continuous current rating multiplied by overall derating factor now we, we need to check with the cable manufacturer catalog for uh, preliminary selection of the motor uh, that uh, cable size and the number of run so preliminary uh, we have selected in this step one number two is voltage drop criteria there are two types of voltage drop voltage drops number one is running voltage drop and number two is starting voltage drop this running voltage drop this is the normal motor running condition the acceptable limit is three percent that means during running motor condition the bus motor bus voltage voltage drop shall be limited within three percent how to calculate this running voltage drop that is calculated by this formula vdr that is running voltage drop equals to root 3 into continuous current rating into r cos pi plus x n pi into cable length divided by number of run this cos pi is power factor that is load power factor so it should be limited to three percent and starting voltage drop that uh, that should be limited within 15 percent that means motor bus voltage uh, should be maintained minimum 85 percent at motor turn motor terminal at motor terminal it should be 85 percent that means the at motor terminal volt uh, motor terminal this uh, voltage drop starting voltage drop should be limited within 15 percent now how to calculate this starting voltage drop that is calculated by this formula root 3 into starting uh, motor starting current into r cos phi plus x n phi into cable length into divided by number of cable run this starting current this depends on uh, the motor starter type 
that is whether it is dual direct online starting motor or soft starting motor or vfd starting motor if it is uh, dual starting motor then it will draw this starting current should be this starting current generally six times of uh, continuous full load current rating and uh, there there is a margin 20 percent so 7.2 times of rated full load current and this cos phi power factor is the starting power factor this is typically 0.3 so we can get this starting voltage drop we need to check this starting voltage drop whether it is within uh, the allowable limit 15 percent if this criteria meets then we proceed for number three that is short circuit rating criteria this is applicable uh, as i said earlier this is applicable only for breaker operated motor feeders so now from this formula a equals to i motor symmetrical short circuit rating into root t divided by k this symmetrical short circuit rating is the breaker symmetrical short circuit rating whether it is uh, it may be 40 kilo ampere or 65 kilo ampere or 85 kilo ampere or 100 kilo ampere this is the breaker short circuit rating and this t is breaker fault clearing time typically 0.16 second k is the multiplying factor this depends on the uh, conductor of the cable material that is whether it is copper or aluminium this is 0.143 for copper xlp cable as per ic 60502 and if you check this ic502 then you can get the value for copper xlp pvc or aluminium xlp cables now this criteria also fulfills the preliminary selected cable size and number of run then your cable size is to be considered okay otherwise you need to modify the cable sizing accordingly so to select the cable size proper cable size for breaker operated uh, motor feeders you need to satisfy all the three criteria and if uh, the feeder is mccb operated then only first two criteria should be met so i hope you like this video if you like this video then please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so that i can upload new videos okay thank you